Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, March 1st. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Can I get a TGIF? It has been a busy and exhausting week with the kickoff of Rodeo Houston. In case you missed anything, it's over on our website, all of my adventures on CW39.com. Just click on that Houston Happens tab. And this cowgirl has hung up her hat for now and I'm back in studio with a very entertaining show. So coming up, speaking of the rodeo, it wasn't our first rodeo, that's for sure. No fun was had at all, right? Producer Lou and I had very full belly laughs at the 16th annual Gold Buckle Foodie Awards. Find out the best dishes at this year's rodeo and what we thought. And fresh off of her performance at Rodeo Houston's Hideout last night, local singer Peyton Howie joins us live in studio to perform. And speaking of performers, jugglers, acrobats, trapeze acts, dancers, and so much more are all part of Cirque du Soleil Corteo and it's back to Houston for the first time in five years. We actually am so excited to have a live performance later in the show. That and more is headed your way so what do you say let's get this show started. Well it's March 1st but it's also National Kolache Day, which is pretty much a holiday here in Houston. We love our kolaches. And if you want to start off your day with a fresh, yummy kolache, like we are, stop by Kolache Factory and snag a free, yes, free kolache. They were so kind, you guys. They're definitely some of my favorite people. We've shared so many memories on the air. They sent me and my crew fresh made kolaches, you all. Look at this right now. I mean, we've got the fruit ones, which are the traditional ones. And then we have, I don't even know, we have the ham and cheese, bacon and cheese, sausage and cheese. And of course, they also have some of their cinnamon rolls. But look at this beauty shot right there. Go get your free kolache. Happy kolache day. I love their kolaches because of the dough. Just saying, just saying. But who doesn't love a good kolache? We've made a lot of friends in the newsroom. They're kind of hovering around like ants. So make sure you go get it. This promotion runs until two this afternoon and hurry because the kolaches are available until supplies last. But don't leave until you watch Houston Happens. Well, producer Lou and I are still very full after judging the 16th annual Gold Buckle Foodie Awards at Rodeo Houston. Producer Lou, Have she's entered <laughs> the chat. <laughs> Here she is. I know, I, dr I drug her out of the booth. Yeah, I know, <laughs> like I don't look on the sidelines. Are side you still line. full? <laughs> I'm still full. Well, yeah, I didn't have breakfast at all this morning. And last night I couldn't I, eat dinner. I kind of like snacked. I had like hummus and pita <laughs> chips, but that's all I could fit in my stomach, honestly. Well, the picture <laughs> Of us laughing, I think that kind of said it. That off. is so us. That, yeah. that I, I have to say, we always say we're a family, but we really are we a family. Really are. I mean, look at this picture. This was pure joy. Oh, such a fun time. <laughs> we had the best time. So, you guys, I have to say, we were at the official rowdy best time table. We were with a bunch of my radio friends. Yes, yes. So, shout out to Sarah, Peppa, and Jesse. They always do They're so much. Amazing. The bowl was there. Um, so, here are some of the things that we taste tested. This was one of the baked potatoes, which yeah. is classic. Yeah. At first, I remember I, I said it was missing some salt, but uh, Randy was saying you got to take the full bite. Like, you yeah. got to have everything on it, not just the potato. You got to have the bacon, the cream cheese, the onions. That's what I was learning. Yeah. Randy from <laughs> Bucky's. I mean, he knows his meat. For sure. He's he also behind Holy Cow Cooker, so we've been with him a lot yeah. over the years. So he was at our table, and oh my gosh, you guys have to look over on my social media. But we also had some uh, food on a stick, Yeah. which I'm terrible, terrible at, I should say. I don't know say. if we have the video of the bacon on a stick. That was honestly my favorite. And, and I, it won. It got first place. It's you guys. so good. Yeah, they also had chicken in a waffle on a stick. Oh, that's my corn dog, Maggie. Oh! Corn dog has entered the chat once just, again. So, funny story <laughs> about corn dogs. Tell everybody about So, your... I'm from Argentina, if you can't tell from my accent. Uh, I never had a corn dog in my life until last year. That was my first rodeo. It literally was her first rodeo. And it was a rattlesnake corn dog. So, let's yeah. say it wasn't um, a pleasant experience. But this one was really good. It had bacon bits on it. The sausage was a little... <laughs> the sausage was questionable. I don't know if it was turkey. Turkey sausage? That's it what was... they were saying. I mean, Randy knows. Randy does know his <laughs> meat. Ben only heard at the rodeo asking, is anybody allergic to snake? And I was like, I'm allergic to cobra. And they took away. <laughs> 
<laughs> it took away our food. <laughs> yeah. You guys, most creative food, snake bite nachos. But uh, this, oh my gosh, can we just take a minute? This is that's a beauty by shot. Big Fat Bacon. <laughs> like they said, they saved the best for last. Big Fat Bacon was pretty much the Big Fat winner. This was best dessert. You want to hear about this? Bacon, bourbon, caramel, cheesecake on a stick, y'all. Yeah, baby. On a stick. <laughs> I mean, look at that bacon. Now here, this is also one of the winners from Big Fat Bacon. That's this, the bacon we were talking about. So. Randy loved it so much from Bucky's, he actually got it to go. Yeah. Only at the rodeo can you cheers with bacon on a stick. Honestly. You guys, though, can I, we have a moment for this? I still <laughs> actually would like some. This was classic fair food. It won it first won. place. Yeah. I was telling Hebe, my husband, they like drizzled maple syrup on it. Yeah. Oh my And we got gosh. some to go. We did Here get some go. to go. Here's the thing, <laughs> I am not good. You all had to teach me how to eat food on a stick because I was like, <laughs> Actually, getting they helped you. They, they helped, helped you. So I did I it on the side. The <laughs> <laughs> Lou used her fork and knife like a proper girl from Argentina. Here's the great thing, though. They all are available to everybody at NRG. And you're going to the rodeo. I am. Are Tonight. you excited? Yes. Bitty Sin. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm wearing my, my big sis jacket yes, that she so kindly let me borrow. She raids my closet every <laughs> once in a while. But we have so much fun. Again, if you want to see our adventures of Maggie and Lou, we're just getting started. Go over to my social media on Instagram or over on Facebook. But I love you. The oh, best part so was much. just getting to spend yeah. time with you. Oh, so like thank it. you. We love rodeo. I love Lou. We love Houston Happens. And we're just getting started. I guess you have to go back in the booth. I'm going to go right back. All right. I'll, your hair I'll looks good. Don't, don't mess up the hair with the Thank headset. you. Just Dry saying. Right. Ooh, beauty Ooh. cam. Oh, beauty <laughs> shot. Charlie coming in hot Charlie. on camera three. <laughs> this is who's always in my ear, y'all. All right, see you We have plenty of Houston habits after the break. <laughs> There becomes fire. I couldn't do this without you speaking. I was driving, someone smashed into me, and then they just drove off. I knew I needed a lawyer, somebody to help me out. After calling Jim Aller, he got my medical bills paid for. My car was fixed immediately. The time that I took off of work was reimbursed to me. I wasn't expecting to get as much as I did. My life is better because I called Jim Aller. I'm Jim Aller, the Texas Hammer. I know how to get you all the money the law says is yours. Call today, 713-777-4000. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. In 2024, it's the Rooms to Go anniversary sale. More new styles, more new collections, more than we've ever had before. Whether you shop online or in store, save big with amazing sale prices on the hottest pieces and coolest packages store wide. This is more than a celebration, it's a sale that happens only once a year. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale is going on now. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station.
Walker, Texas Ranger. You're under arrest. out and of course we had to speak to a friend of the show Dean Richards to see if he liked it we always trust him right so here's Dean's movie review for the week you've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades Look. my family's been fighting them for centuries in 2021 fans of the Frank Herbert sci-fi novel Dune didn't know what to expect from the French-Canadian director Denis Villeneuve. The what we got back then was a larger-than-life epic story of family, power, love, and prophecy. Fast forward to today, and Dune Part 2 is bigger and bolder, and even more epic than before, maybe too epic in some ways. It's a story about battling factions of nomads and royals, of ancient feuds and civil wars. As a young warrior who survived an attack that wiped out most of his family who ruled the desert planet, seeks revenge. And that is the most bare bones explanation of what this movie is about. And believe me, there is almost nothing that is bare bones about this movie. Nothing fancy. I understand. The stories are multi-layered and super complex, based on the original novel without much left out. Fans should be able to follow along, but if you're a newcomer to all of this, fully expect to get lost in the names and places and mythologies. It's like they're speaking a foreign language. And if you're not familiar with the book or you haven't seen part one, forget about it entirely. That said, it's not completely impossible to follow along. Although I had to see the movie twice in order to absorb what was being thrown at me. Should you really have to see a movie more than once to get what's going on? All of that said, Dune Part 2 is one of the most visually beautiful movies that I've ever seen. Incredible sand-swept cinematography with overwhelmingly original sights and technologies and even creatures. Visually, it reminded me of the first time that I saw a Star Wars movie. The creativity here is stunning. But at the end of the day for me, it's always about story. Fact, and as best people. as I could decipher, the formula for this one is that good people and good intentions are battling evil for the world as they know it. As impressive as the look of this efficiently made two and a half hour saga is, the galaxy of superstars contained in it shine the brightest. At the top of the list is the impressive Timothy Chalamet, leading the pack as the reluctant young rebel. Zendaya expands her presence here into a more powerful force. Elvis star Austin Butler plays it deliciously evil with Javier Bardem, Florence Pugh, Josh Brolin, Christopher Walken, Dave Batista, each adding something special. So for now, enjoy part two, do your homework before you go, pay close attention, and see it on as big of a screen as possible for maximum visual impact. I give it a Dean's List a minus. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Stars Mark Atkins. If you were at Rodeo Houston's hideout last night, you certainly remember that voice. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Thank you both for joining me. You have to be exhausted. Actually, no, this is fun, so we're here, no complaints. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to have both of you. I've enjoyed talking to you offset. So tell us a little bit about what it was like to perform last night at the hideout. It was a blast. This is a show that like me and the guys have been looking forward to for the longest time. And uh, we knew it was like everyone talks about the hideout and just how it's so much fun and the energy. It was amazing. And Peyton, you live in Willis, right? Yeah. So to be here performing Rodeo Houston, I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Next thing you know, you're going to be on the revolving stage. Oh my God. What hey, did that's that feel dream. like when they said your name? Oh, it was so cool. It was like just like you could feel the energy in the room and everyone was like there and hyped up and um, getting to run out there. And it's, it was like 
getting to the end of the set, I was like, man, it's over already? Oh. <laughs> Time you know? flies when you're having yeah. fun, right? And Absolutely. you just left it all out there on the stage. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you started. Yes, yeah, so I've been singing and doing this thing, chasing the dream since I was about 14 years old. And um, honestly, I can't imagine doing anything else. I love music. I love getting to share it with people. And what inspires you? What, what do you base your songs off of? Oh, man, a whole lot of true stories and a couple of couple, uh, bad breakups, maybe. Uh, I hear you. I can give you some material. I'm happily married now, but I could give you some bad material. You know material. what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, with singers, don't you always wish for a bad breakup? Because then they have the best album. I'm Absolutely. just saying. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to monetize off that. <laughs> so what is the most favorite song you've put out, would you say? My favorite song um, is probably Orange, okay. I would say. Um, it was actually my most recent radio single, made it up on the charts, and um, it's been really cool to even get to visit um, some of the local stations and all over Texas and surrounding areas playing the song. So. Oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine driving and hearing my song on the radio. It's weird. It's, yeah. it's like it's like a out-of-body experience almost, you know? I'm it's so very proud cool. of you. You're very humble. I love the energy between both of you. And you have some upcoming concerts and some new music coming out. Yes, actually tonight we're going to be in Texas City at the High Horse Saloon. It's going to be a blast. So y'all pull up, come see us. And we're also going to be at Rodeo Austin on March 18th. That's huge. And what about new music we can look forward to? I have a new song coming out in the spring called Ramblin' Woman. Ooh, what's that about? It's just about that, just about being a ramblin' woman. And uh, if there's one thing a ramblin' man don't see coming, it's a ramblin' woman. Drops the mic to that, honey. <laughs> number one hit. Where Let's can we see, go to continue you. to follow you? Yeah, I got music on all streaming platforms or you can find anything, you know, shows, merch, whatever you want to find on my website, PeytonHowie.com. All right. Well, you guys are going to be performing for us in yes, a little bit, so we're going to get you guys set up. All right. You seem like you might watch. Do you watch Vanderpump Rules at all? No. Do you don't. guys, do you? My wife does. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. So you know about <laughs> Scandaball? Vaguely. Well, honey, you're about to learn about Scandaball. So the Tom <laughs> Sandoval on air drama continues. Also, one of the first couples of country music, they're actually opening a big saloon in Nashville. Sam Rubin reports in today's entertainment report. We begin here with even more fallout from the epic Scandaval on air scandal involving a reality show affair that had many real life complications. And this is your get out of the You're sticking up for Tom too. No, I'm not sticking up for Tom. I'm just being reasonable. I'm reasonable. I'm talking to you. That ain't not, that ain't chill. I can't if you want anything. For you to die. Now, the other woman, Raquel Levis, is suing, suing the original couple, Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox. Raquel says that the original pair has taken advantage of her. And it's not just the pair, Bravo as well. Part of her suit says this. It is clear that Bravo deliberately sacrificed Levis for the sake of its commercial interests from its refusal to allow her the opportunity to tell her side of the story and defend herself, which she repeatedly begged for permission to do. She also says that Tom and Ariana have both profited while she became, quote, the most hated woman in America. Now. You're a high-profile couple. You're starting a new business. Maybe it's a great opportunity, a great opportunity for, for a docu-series. One of the first couples of country music, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, are opening a big saloon in Nashville. There's a lot involved, thus the docu-series. It's named after one of Garth's hit songs and the name of the new bar, Friends in Low Places. When you walk into Friends in Low Places Bar and Honky Tonk, you're in that stadium show. You're at that dive bar. To try to remember it, the Friends in Low Places Bar and Honky Tonk, there's the construction of it, but there's also the building of the entertainment, because that's what a bar and honky tonk is. At the same time, these people that come to a Garth Brooks spot expect what they see at a Garth Brooks concert. And so you bring in the best of the best, which also happens to be that family that you've been touring the world with for the last three decades. This Garth docuseries will air on Prime Video. Folks in the country community looking forward to the opening of the bar and the docuseries. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. Somebody has to be lying. Either you're telling me the truth or you're not. Everything I'm telling is the honest to God truth. You guys have a lie detector? We're the lie detector. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. 
Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week. Up to eight days a month. And guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. To save with Flexter Credits, call 1-866-RELIANT. Reliant. That's power. Your way. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. You've been hurt in a car accident that wasn't your fault. You've always paid your insurance premiums on time, and now the insurance company wants you to settle and settle for cheap. It feels like the odds are stacked against you. At Simmons & Fletcher, we make it our mission to help the injured. These aren't just cases to us, these are people's lives. If you've been injured in an accident, contact us today. The consultation is always free. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. For years, Renew has been celebrating each new year with thousands of patients. Make 2024 your year. Everybody who knows I went through this have all told me, my God, I can't believe how real they look. They're really, really good. Uh, I'm not kidding. They're just fantastic. Visit Renew to get your new dental implant supported anchored teeth. Up to 60% less than many other providers for fixed, removable, beautiful teeth. New you this new year at Renew Smiles. Call today. Geek out with young Sheldon. This is like being around a campfire, only I'm not miserable. Weeknights at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. with her guitarist, Mark Atkins. What are you going to be performing? A song called Orange. Orange. And where Orange. again can we see you perform tonight? We're going to be at the High Horse Saloon in Texas City. All right. Well, take it away. Orange by All Peyton right. Howe. Ready? One, two. A little bit older and he knew how to ride. Every now and then we were Bonnie and Clyde. I've always been a bit of a law bend and bait myself. It was all fun and games till he just couldn't stop. Always been a mad at trouble, mama's calling the cops. This time is the last time, mark my words. He said, ooh, baby girl, I need you.
this face y'all she's going places it's big sweet. places thank no you i believe in you you are very very talented thank you for sharing your talents thank with you. me both of you props to you again tell everybody where we can follow you yeah you can find me anywhere instagram facebook spotify youtube peyton howie p-a-y-t-o-n-h-o-w-i-e sings and plays the guitar drops the mic on that one stay tuned we have plenty of houston happens after the break have heart failure with unresolved symptoms it may be time to see the bigger picture. Heart failure and seemingly unrelated symptoms like carpal tunnel syndrome, shortness of breath, and irregular heartbeat could mean something more serious called ATTRCM, a rare underdiagnosed disease that worsens over time. Sound like you? Call your cardiologist and ask about ATTRCM. The Rooms to Go Anniversary Sale is here. Our once a year celebration of style, selection, and incredible savings store-wide. Just look around. Great low prices on beautiful furniture you won't find anywhere else. Our suppliers have kicked in with price breaks for huge savings passed directly on to you. Plus, 60 month interest free financing. Pretty good, right? No high interest rates here. The Rooms to Go Anniversary Sale happens only once a year, and it's going on now. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Na, 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 na. Ooh, yum. Hey. hey. I feel good. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Because beauty excites, it energizes, it drops our jaws, dilates our eyes makes us look twice. A beautiful home, a beautiful life, is something we create. And we can start right now at Floor & Decor. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. No more leaving things on set. What do you say we get the band back together? We need to solve this before there's another victim. Do <laughs> you ever work a serial killer case? You're surrounded by it. Don't. Okay, you can drive more often. Knew you'd come around. Walker, Texas Ranger. You're under arrest. Walker, season premiere Wednesday, April 3rd on The CW. Steve Wilkos, today at 2 on CW39 Houston. Well, we are at that halfway mark, and let's just say we're juggling a lot. Literally, Cirque du Soleil, Corteo is back in H-Town for the first time in five years. We have a sneak peek performance from one of the jugglers live in studio. Also, famous actor Alan Cumming will perform live at the Hobby Center stage here in H-Town soon. Coming up, we'll have our CW39 Spotlight with Brad Gilmore as he finds out what Cumming's new show is all about. Plus, Rich Jamiro takes a look at three devices for a smart home, including an air purifier with personality, okay, a smart air freshener with a celebrity backing, and Amazon's latest hub to control your entire home. That's in today's TechSmart. But first, one of the top talkers, my husband and I actually were glued to the TV for this one. We all have been following the latest on Wendy Williams, the documentary 
Where is Wendy Williams came out over the weekend right after Williams' team announced she had actually been diagnosed with dementia. Well, now, Sean Zantoni, she is actually the publicist. She spoke to our news partners at News Nation about this. The publicist told the media that the producers, quote, exploited the for former talk show host and that the production company told her that the documentary is going to be about her comeback. Well, now the documentary actually captures some struggles that Wendy had to overcome. The publicist says producers chose to not include any of the positive moments of Williams, but rather focused on the negative aspects of the star's life. One particular scene in which Williams appears disoriented and erratic has really drawn scrutiny. Now, the publicist clarified that the incident actually occurred a year ago and that Williams was in the process of addressing her health issues at the time of filming. Yeah, and I have to mention this was a year ago that we filmed, so this was not recent. This was actually this time last year right. over a period of three days with me. Um, and. She was in the process at that time of getting back to herself. So she was, you know, working on her health. She wanted to focus on her podcast, and that sometimes it was on TV, but she was really trying to focus on the better component of her, her life. Hmm. My husband and I were like, wait, she was the publicist. She should have put a stop to this. She also said in that interview with Elizabeth Vargas that she'd only met the singer pretty much twice. So she hadn't been working for her for that, that long from what it sounded like. Now, Williams supposedly has not seen the documentary herself, meaning the full extent of her reaction remains unknown. Definitely looks like everybody is trying to get a check. If you ask me, Adam, it seems like a lot of drama yeah. over there. Yeah, it does. I saw, I haven't seen the documentary, but I saw online her, the hashtag with her name was trending and I looked it yeah. up. I was like, oh, wow, there was, there was a lot going on here. Yeah. Um, and that scene, she's in her bedroom and she has the, you know, alcohol under her bed. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Her son is in it. Definitely, I think I want to watch it this weekend. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's very fascinating, right? It's, yeah. You can't help but kind of and wonder. And it's sad. About. It's really it is, sad because yeah. she was one of us. And now, look, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. How you doing is what she used to say, that iconic phrase. So, yeah. anyways, hopefully she's getting help. But here's the thing. We have some brighter days ahead, my friend. I was freezing yesterday at the rodeo. It was, I know, it was cold with the lack of sun and just oh. the cool temperature is not what we want going into a rodeo weekend, but it is going to be warming up here starting today okay. and even warmer tomorrow. But for now, it still looks and feels a lot like yesterday. So people that are heading out like, well, here we go. It's going to be another one like yesterday. <laughs> not the case. These clouds will actually eventually clear. It's 54 though right now, but look at the afternoon temperatures. Yesterday's high was only 55, so we're going up almost 20 degrees compared to yesterday today as we top out in the low 70s this afternoon. Here on Futurecast, you see these morning clouds breaking up a little bit, not completely across southeast Texas, though. I think there's still going to be some clouds near the coast, and maybe it's a little cooler there as a result. Now, going into the weekend, it does warm up, but we do have one little issue on Saturday morning, and that's the fact that there's probably going to be some patchy fog around our area, represented with the orange right here. Other than that, lots of sunshine, though, for Saturday. Temperatures will be even warmer, and then Sunday, another little issue is the fact that we may see some very spotty light rain or some sprinkles just in the morning, not expecting any rain for the rest of the day on Sunday. But if you're wanting a warmer feel, spring-like feel, it is March after all. Well, that's where we're headed this weekend. 80 degrees on Saturday and on Sunday. And next week, warm air is going to hang around. But then our problem next week is more so we've got rain and possibly even some thunderstorms. It's been a little while since we've yeah. had some good downpours here, but that may happen around Monday to Monday night. A few lower chances after that, maybe a better chance than by Thursday of next week. So next week can be a little more of an active weather pattern, Maggie, but at least that holds off till after the weekend and we can enjoy the outdoors here without worrying these yes. next couple days. I love taking May on walks, but also we need to do some gardening and pull some weeds. <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it. So many weeds in my, it's, I mean, it looks like salad. My yard is a I salad. I'm glad it's not just us. I feel like, <laughs> nope. oh my gosh. I like it because it's green. I don't care if it's weeds or not. Yeah, it's like a yeah. clover, whatever. Yeah. It's good luck. Right. It's almost St. Patty's Day, right? Yeah. This is when you know we're old and parents and married yeah. because we're looking forward to uh, pulling weeds. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I, I think you'll kind of like this one, too, because our allergies are probably acting up. So in today's Tech Smart, Rich Jamiro actually takes a look at three devices for a smart home, including an air purifier with personality, a smart air freshener with a celebrity backing, and Amazon's latest hub to control your entire home. Not sure about that. A smart home doesn't have to be a complicated home. Here are three products that can help you breathe easier, starting with Mila. 
an air purifier with smarts, and a personality. I love how easy it is to set up and the variety of filters, whether you have a new baby or pets running around. Once Mila is set up, it goes into auto magic mode, taking care of your air without a lot of fuss. A screen shows playful messages with updates on air quality, or you can see complete details in the app. Most of the time, this is pretty quiet, but especially after you cook, when these fans kick in, it can get kind of loud. Mila is $350, filters start at 59 and last six months. Amazon's new Echo Hub puts you in control of your smart home. This is a tablet with an operating system dedicated to controlling smart home devices, something that used to cost a whole lot more back in the day. It can be mounted on a wall or placed on a counter with an accessory stand. It has support for various protocols, including Zigbee, Sidewalk, Thread, Bluetooth, and Matter. It's gonna work with a wide range of devices. Alexa, turn on the office light. There is voice control and the on-screen responsiveness is snappy. The home screen gives you fast access to your cameras, lights, and alarm systems, plus any routines you've built. It's $179. Finally, if you want your home to smell great, check out Below 60. Hillary Duff helps guide the brand, which makes a plug-in diffuser that uses 100% natural scents. Just pop in a capsule, choose low or high strength, and take a deep breath. Here's the scent cartridge. I've tried vanilla and grapefruit. Mm, they smell clean and fresh and they last about 30 days. You can plug in vertical or horizontal. A starter kit runs $30 when you subscribe. Additional scents are $10. If you want links to any of these gadgets, go to my website. It is richontech.tv. I'm Rich DeMuro, and you are tech smart. Thank you, Rich. I know my husband is going to love a lot of those. All right, on this week's CW39 Spotlight, Brad Gilmore actually sits down with the legendary Alan Cumming to discuss his new show, Alan Cumming is Not acting his age, hitting the Hobby Center stage on March 6th and 7th. Here's Brad with what inspired this unique performance. A BAFTA and Tony Award winning actor known for such roles as Cabaret, X2, X-Men United, and the host of the new show, The Traders, Alan Cumming is going to be making his way to Houston here on March the 6th and 7th at the Hobby Center for a brand new show called Alan Cumming is not acting his age. And in the spotlight, we're joined by Alan Cumming. Talk to us about what Alan Cumming is not acting his age is all about. And is it is it true to its title? Um, yes, I think it probably is. I mean, it's a show uh, that was sort of inspired by the fact that I'm getting older and I am very uh, interested in how we deal with aging as a culture and how we sort of uh, uh, feel we're conditioned to behave in a certain way. You know, age appropriateness, what is that? And who gets to decide? <laughs> and I just sort of felt like in my, in my life, I don't, when I think about how old I am, it doesn't really correlate with what I used to think a person of that age was or would be doing. And I just realized that why not? Why can't we just do what we like and be open to life and, you know, not let other people uh, dictate to us how to enjoy ourselves? So it's a show about, you know, we're all, we're all aging. And we're, all, we're all doing it. I'm decaying right now in front of you. And I sing songs with my band and I tell stories, some funny, some not, you know, some sad. Uh, and the whole theme is, a, is kind of a positive message of um, stay open and curious to life. We want to thank Alan Cumming for joining us on this edition of the CW39 Spotlight. Make sure you check out Alan Cumming is not acting his age at the Hobby Center on March the 6th and 7th. Tickets are still available. But until next time, I'm Brad Gilmore, CW39 Houston. Hey, what's up? This is Bumby, the Trill OG, Reverend UGK at Trill Burgers, and you're watching Houston Happens on CW39, baby. Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief 
comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Three parks, one spring break pass. Just $79.99. and Galveston Island Pleasure Pier. Buy your pass online now. For years, Renew has been celebrating each new year with thousands of patients. Make 2024 your year. Everybody who knows I went through this have all told me, my God, I can't believe how real they look. They're really, really good. Uh, I'm not kidding. They're just fantastic. They say what they mean and the warranties, the guarantees on my teeth. I'm not worried about it. They'll take care of me. Stop waiting for another year to go by. Visit Renew and take advantage of 2024 pricing to get your new dental implant supported anchored teeth. Renew is up to 60% less than many other providers for fixed, removable, beautiful teeth. Renew definitely puts patients first. Love what happened. Just changed my life. It really changed my life, literally, overnight. Renew is growing across the United States. New you this new year at Renew Smiles. Call 281-800-3000 or visit renewsmiles.com. Well, Corteo, the most enchanting arena show to ever be produced by Cirque du Soleil, is returning to Houston after five long-awaited years. I have a very special guest joining us. Introduce yourself. So, my name is Johan Jocelyn, and I come from Finland. And you are a juggler. Yes, I am. Oh, my goodness. I loved, we were chatting a little bit off air. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved with Cirque du Soleil. So everything started almost 23 years ago when I was 10 years old. Uh, I actually saw Cirque du Soleil on TV. Oh. And oh. the juggler in the show, this oh. is my colleague, Horst. Oh, here. hello. It is the rodeo. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, sorry, honey. Sorry. Hey there. Hey, don't worry. Look at those eyelashes. Yeah, he's, he's funny. He really is. Yeah. I mean, it is rodeo season. This is yeah. very on brand, my yeah. friend. Can I? I used to ride horses. Yeah, you can, you can, okay, you I can. promise I won't try and saddle you up. It's Aww. Fine, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, my goodness. So, this is part of your performance, yes. right? He's a big part of our show. Yes. Okay, so back to where you were since you yeah. were 10. Yeah, since I was 10. So, I saw Circus a little on TV, and the show, the juggler was just so amazing when he was juggling with balls and doing like crazy stuff. And I was just like, well, I have to start juggling. So, when the show was done, I went to my backyard with three tennis balls and started practicing. <gasps> and I've been juggling since then, and now I'm here with Circus a little. So, how did you get involved with Circus a Did you have to audition? I mean, this yeah, is actually, competitive. I, I, did, I did the audition for Circus but before that, I went to the National Circus School in Montreal, which is actually across the street of the uh, of the IHQ of, yeah. uh, of uh, Cirque du Soleil. So it was easy. Like when I graduated from the school, just go across the street to do the audition, and then one year after that, uh, I was lucky oh enough my goodness. to get this job. Not lucky, talented enough too. You've got to I believe in yourself. Very of, modest. A mix of everything. <laughs> yeah, I a love mix it. Of everything. So tell us a little bit about what the show is about. Yeah. So our, the show is about uh, our dreamer clown Mauro, who dreams about his own funeral, but in a carnival atmosphere so it's actually not a sad show even oh. if it's a funeral so we can take it as a, like a celebration of life so that's like just like the short explanation how it is so uh, what <laughs> happens in the show is that Mauro meets all his <laughs> old friends me and this horse and yeah. every, all the other like acrobats and everyone like who are friends who he met throughout his life and they come to say like one last time goodbye before oh. he goes to the afterlife but we like like I said, like it's a celebration of life, so we remember all the great stuff that he did during his life. This is amazing. You're performing all throughout the weekend at yes. the Toyota Center. Yes. Where can we go for more and to get some tickets? Because I know you guys want to see it. 
Uh, yeah, like search soleil.com. Okay. Like you can find more information. Just Google Corteo and you will find it. And I'm so excited because you're going to give us a sneak peek performance. Yes. I promise I will not attempt to juggle. My husband knows I am terrible at it. I try to do the scarves for my daughter. Yeah. Well, that's... that's Maybe something. you can teach me a thing or two for Absolutely. sure. All right. So, question. Yes. Do you remember what you were doing at 18? Maybe you were only 18. I don't know. I was... Uh, yeah, I was practicing juggling like crazy because I had the dream and now I'm doing my dream job. So. Right, so you probably can relate to this story. Most of us, we were just starting to figure out adulthood. Some of us were really pursuing our dream. Well, triple jumper Jaden Hibbert, he was doing the same, but he's also been busy breaking records. The freshman setting, collegiate, Jamaican and world records, you all. Now, at 19 years old, Alyssa Orange introduces us to this track phenomenon who is taking the jump world by storm check it out three years ago God took me from really being this ordinary jumper to this extraordinary jumper the winner of the Bowerman is Jaden Hibbert at just 18 years old Jaden Hibbert has accomplished what some hope to do over their entire career to do what he's done and do it with such grace and and such humility and um, he's the, uh, the premier package. Growing up in Kingston, Jamaica, he didn't start competing in the jumps until he was 16 years old, earning a scholarship to Arkansas and working with coach Travis Kepfert. In triple jumping itself, I don't know what I do. He just says jump and I jump. I'm excited for the world to be able to see more of him and the genuine person that he is, but for him to continue to come out of the shell. In January, Hibbert decided to turn pro, but that doesn't mean he's done with college. You know, walk to class like any other, you know, just be a normal kid, even though I'm a pro athlete right now. Proud in, in the fact that he is committed to his, his degree and uh, finishing school and it's just a really big deal you know for a young man that just turned 19 years old um, to have that uh, big picture mindset and he and coach Gepford can focus on the dream Hibbert's had since he was young they always ask me on paper what you want to become I said I'm an Olympic athlete he's excited to, to bring that that spotlight to the jumps and I think he's a great personality for it the quick success has given him a platform without having to sacrifice what's most important being true to himself Hibby the wonder kid just put that first let him lead let him give the coaches whoever is in my development the, the wisdom to guide me and to just give it my best it's track and field you enjoy yourself truly amazing okay Adam is back he's entered the chat Adam do you know how to juggle uh, kind of you like, do well so we had an assembly in school, like elementary school, a very random memory, but they use like handkerchiefs, right? So yeah. they kind of float in the air and they taught us how to juggle with those and then you worked your way up to like, you know, a ball or something like that. So forget about sneaking these lyrics into the weather. <laughs> I want to see you juggle. Juggle while doing weather? I, I mean, why I can not? Do like, I can go for like five seconds and then I... I'm like, oh. perform, Adam. Perform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, As you wish, man. Do the weather. Yeah. Do the weather. That I can do. That I can do. Um, <laughs> You've probably heard of the massive, now largest in state history fire, the Smokehouse Creek fire up there. It's still burning. It's like 5% contained. Uh, so that's near Amarillo. And I want to show you the forecast wind gust over the next couple of days because it actually looks like winds will pick up more Saturday and Sunday up in the Panhandle. There's probably going to be fire weather warnings up there. The last thing they want to see. But unfortunately, that's what they have to deal with for this weekend up there near Amarillo. All right, our temperatures today will be warmer than we've been lately. We've got the clouds finally clearing today, which will bring us up over 70 degrees. We've got this little disturbance passing by, so some drier air comes in behind it. Clouds eventually will scour out here as we get into the afternoon. Another big thing going on nationwide right now is a high impact storm system on the West Coast. This is going to be a big national weather story. There's blizzard warnings in effect in the mountains. There could be feet of snow in the Sierras with really strong winds as well. High wind warnings over a huge part of the West. Again, and fire weather warnings not into the Texas panhandle yet, but probably Saturday and Sunday, those will be posted there. Now, look at our forecast. Again, we are warming up this weekend. We're back up to 80 degrees, so spring is returning. Rain should hold off for the most part this weekend. I'm thinking Sunday morning, there might be a couple of sprinkles here or there, but you probably won't even notice, especially if you sleep in. And then uh, getting into Monday is when we see a better chance for some rain and storms coming our way. A little more active pattern for next week, Maggie. Well, you're juggling a lot just doing that. Big fire. <laughs> 
I need more stuff, but not my phone. I was about to pick up my phone, but that one. He's so multi-talented. Oh, this is why I need you on my show more. I learn more and more about you. So okay. thank you for that. In the meantime, though, should we maybe leave the juggling to the professional? We should. Okay. Definitely. So I'm excited because Johan is back. You can catch him Cirque du Soleil. I'm so excited. Corteo. Now, what are you about to do for me, my friend? So I'm gonna do. This is called a Diablo, which oh, I'm gonna. Uh, like I'm gonna have a pair of sticks and string and show you how it works. Okay, I'm gonna step out of the shot, but take it away. You can catch Corteo at the Toyota Center. We will have a link over on our website, CW39.com. teach me a thing or two. Absolutely. What is this again? It's called a Diablo. Diablo. Okay. Yeah. I could maybe impress my daughter. All right, stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. So amazing. I'm Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. The next Mega Millions drawing is presented by Jackpocket. Jackpocket lets you order official state lottery tickets right on your phone. Just pick your numbers and place your ticket order.
See a scan of your ticket right in the app. And get your winnings instantly. Go to jackpocket.com to get the app. Use code LOTTO and get your first ticket free. Jackpocket, America's number one lottery app. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale is going on now. And this sale means more. More style, more selection, more ways to save all month long. Thanks to our big buying power, our suppliers gave us special price breaks, which means more savings for you with bonus buys everywhere you look. Shop living rooms, bedrooms, and dining rooms on sale with 60-month interest-free financing. That's right, 60 months. So let's go. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale is going on now. This is the People's Court. Do you have proof that you paid? I, I looked for receipts. I don't, not good with receipts. I paid him $217. People, we have a name for people who are not good with receipts I know. in court. We I, call them losers. Today at 11 on CW39 Houston. Well, before we go, we want to leave you with this. Earlier on CW39 Houston, no wait weather and traffic. We told you a subsidiary of United Health Group, their healthcare technology group known as Change Healthcare, was hit by a major cyber attack. Well, now the health community is concerned that this will impact not only people's health insurance, but access to medical prescriptions, equipment, and so much more. We will have the full story over on our website, CW39.com. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, everybody. Have a great one.